Wow, that is the most amazing view. I feel him tapping it. There he is. Got one. I see all his bass up in there. Got him. Down. Good one, guys. Chip my GoPro lens. What is up fishing with Damon fans? Today we have an awesome adventure awaiting us, but first you have to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, and then check out the comment of the day, and of course comment later on if you want that comment of the day as well. Um, so we are going to be going on a little adventure here to Nova Scotia. And we're going to be staying by a lake that's called Fletcher Lake. It's got some well-known smallmouth bass fishing. So that's going to be our first stop on day one. Then second day, we're going to be fishing a different lake in Stellarton that also has smallmouth bass and possibly chain pickerel and trout. I have no idea what species 100% I'm going to catch during this trip. Most likely smallmouth bass. Hopefully a couple tanks would be nice. And we're gonna go get to that. Let's see you guys on the road. Let's go catch some beasts. Well guys, we just arrived at the fourth lock. Just stay tuned, cause we will be fishing soon and you do not want to miss that. We're going to be catching smallies, I think, boys. Yeah, we're at our first stop, the fourth lock, as you guys can see. And we just arrived here a couple minutes ago, and we're going to go check out the room. We are the Fletcher room, right here. Well, guys, this is the main bedroom right here. Nice main bedroom to the Airbnb. But this is what I really love, the view of Fletcher Lake. It is just so majestic. You look over this thing in water, the brightness just shimmying off it, and awesome. Anyways, bathroom, just kind of a classic bathroom. Shower, sink, toilet, nothing special, but yeah. Anyways, oh here, I love the lobby that we get. We get this all to ourselves, which is really nice. It is just like, you know, basic living space. Then we get kind of this mini fridge, which I love to open up mini fridges. So that's kind of an advantage, I guess. Um, then we got this nice fireplace. Now it's pretty hot out, so we won't be using it, but it's kind of cool. It's nicely laid out. In a little bit, we're gonna do some fishing at Fletcher Lake, and we're gonna see if we can pull some bass, maybe some trout, we'll see what's there. But continue on this journey with me on this video. And you guys, I promise, We'll see some nice fish. I haven't fished at any of these lakes and we're going to experience some good fishing. So let's go to it. See you guys in there. So guys, just tied on a lure. We're gonna be heading out. We got a two kilometer walk to go and very limited time before supper. So we're gonna kind of like jog a bit and stuff and get there as fast as we can because we don't want a car yet or be able to drive. So but we're gonna be able to do that soon. Well guys, we are at spot number one. Boys, we got the Guggen Rattlin' Ned tied on. I think that calls for some big smallmouth bass. Let's get it. going no jeez first bass on and I lost it guys going Got one. 
There we go. We got a little chunk right there. First bass of the trip landed. A uh, little tiny little bass, but uh, he's, he's still pretty good. He's got some fat on him, guys, and we're gonna let him go. Get a little bass on the Ned rig, of course. Oh yeah, you gotta love that release, guys. You gotta love it. You gotta love that jumping and all that stuff, like. Got one. Ah, uh, it's a little pickerel, guys. You broke off my Ned rig. Now I need to put a bit new bait on because of that. You little bugger broke off my Ned rig. Let's put a new one on or a new bait. Let's put on a little trickler. Little smally. There we go. There we go, guys. Another little no scotia smallmouth. We are in Bedford. A little tiny smallmouth, but still fun to catch him on that Ned rig. Uh, it really bent that rod. And we're gonna let him go, guys. Beautiful fish. Ooh, he gave me a little splash with that little tail. I like the TRD. I mean the trickler, the guys. That's a trickler. Got one. There we go, guys. Little tiny smallmouth. From Nova Scotia, guys. Little tiny Bedford Smalley. Tiny, but puts up a good fight. He'll probably splash me a bit. Ooh, yeah. That's what I like, guys. That's what I like. Now if we can just get some Smalleys with a bit of size to them. A little bit more size would be nice. Well, guys, let's keep on the move. We are looking for some good smallmouth right now. Um, we've caught some decent little tiny ones. They were fat, but they just weren't what we were looking for yet. So we're gonna fish off this point and hopefully catch some monsters. So guys, that point ended up not being too great, um, but we're gonna keep moving on, try to find some other spots to fish, so let's go. Hit my GoPro lens. Well, guys, made that $100 mistake chipping my GoPro, but we're gonna keep going. So, just arriving here at our next destination, underneath this bridge is looking pretty juicy, guys. I'm thinking throwing this Ned rig around could definitely snag a big Smalley here. Look at this, just good water flow, all the good signs, some shade during this heat make a big difference.
I didn't want to pick girl. As you guys can tell, I'm not the biggest fan of pick girl. Um, I'm really surprised we caught one underneath this bridge, considering it is basically all stone. That's why I always carry pliers, though, because, I mean, i not a big fan of handling these slime rockets. I must say, this spot here looks pretty juicy, guys. Got one. There we go. Little Nova Scotia smallmouth. Waiting for a smallie. There we go. He ate it in a little bit of a weird spot there, but got him off. Oh, there's some little tiny small out there. Down. There we go, guys. That's a bigger one. That's what I'm talking about, guys. A little bit bigger there. Probably a half a pound, but still got a little belly on him, and it gave me a good little fight, so we're gonna release that. Yeah, he is gone. He put up a good little fight. You definitely put up a good little fight. I'm standing on some glass right now. Got one. Come here, buddy. Good little smallie. Good little Nova Scotia smallmouth, guys. See him another day. Hopefully when he's bigger. Got one. Tiny, tiny little smallmouth. Tiny little smallmouth, let's let him go. That was a, that's a really tiny smallmouth. We're downsizing right now. We need to get a bigger one, guys. Got one. There we go, guys. That's a better one. There we go on the TRD uh, Tricklers by Z Man. There, uh, we're gonna release this bad boy. Let's let him go. Well, guys, that is our I don't even know, like 10th bass. Um, some on the Ned Rig, some on the uh, Tricklers right here by Z-Man that allows it to stand up in the green pumpkin color. 
we're gonna let this thing just drop off on those rocks guys and got one good one There we go. Good little bass. There we go. Good little Nova Scotia smallmouth. Back in the water to live another day. Got a good one, guys. Got a good smallmouth. There we go. That's a good smallie right there. There we go guys, that is a one and a half pound bass, I'm pretty sure. That is a beaut of a smallmouth. Beautiful fish. That is our best today so far. That is amazing guys, let's give him a good release. We want him to spawn. There we go. Beautiful fish. Let's give this lure another toss out there. Well guys, I think this might be it for day one of our trip. Stay tuned for the other parts. And we're gonna go catch some more fish tomorrow in Stellarton and New Glasgow, a couple other places. We're gonna see you guys there. But for now we caught five, 10 bass around that area. Um, and we caught a good little one and a half pounder and I'm proud of myself for that. It's not easy at this lake to catch big ones. I've seen a lot of small ones, not many big ones. And I think I pulled out one of the bigger bass out of this lake, and I'm proud for that. And you guys are going to see some more bass pulled out, I'm sure, during this video. And maybe a couple trout or something. Let's go and see what we can go catch. What's Let's up, guys? Go. It is. What's up, guys? It is 6.30 in the morning. We are going to go fishing before we leave to our next location. But we are going to take a turn on this Lake Thomas and go the opposite way we went yesterday. And we're gonna go see if we can catch some small enough bass that way. I got the jerk bait tied on. Um, if that's just not working, we're gonna go for the Ned Rig or maybe top water since it's really early in the morning. Uh, we're gonna see you guys there. We're gonna walk down that way. We're at the four locks, or the fourth lock as it says. Fourth lock. Um, so we are at the fourth lock. Beautiful lake this morning, by the way, guys. It is amazing out there. And I can't wait to get out there. Let's see you guys there on the water. Let's see if we can go catch some bass. Let's do this. Alright, we're gonna try. What command ability? Tell me where we at. Here we go to the dog. She come. You yeah, bro neck dog. You know that's right. Big bass jumping at the water doing somersaults. You know the right, and you know that fishing coming up. Big bass jumping out of the water doing some and the fish jump me in. No that fish ain't coming off. Line cut, no cycle. Put me up, stuck up, stuck up, me up, stuck Line tied on fire, on me up, stuck up. Okay, I don't know if there's water at the for this. Well, guys, we found this nice spot on the lake here. We got a little bridge here. We got some water flowing underneath. Uh, I think we're going to catch some little bass here, but maybe a bigger one. We'll see. Uh, let's go do that. Got one. 
there we go guys smallmouth bass off the bridge we caught one Tiny, tiny bass, of course, but still a little tiny good guy. We're gonna put him back in. There he goes. Got one. Ah! Oh. Dang it. Down. No. Again, I lost one. That one. That one. There we go. There we go, guys. Good little tiny smallmouth, guys. Little tiny smallmouth. I'm gonna release him. Back in that river. Back in that current where he loves it. Toss it back up there. Give him some fight beforehand. There we go, another little tiny smallmouth to go back in the water. we're done fishing at st thomas lake we just finished that and that is off of fletcher's lake the lake that we fished yesterday um we're in the car right now we're going to be going to halifax to fish another lake and possibly stellarton so if we got enough time we'll do stellarton but i think we're mainly doing halifax there's gonna be a lake there it's got smallmouth bass in it confirmed there's trout confirmed there i've caught a trope there actually before um i'll actually show a short clip right now of me catching a trout so obviously now that you know there's trout there um I'll let, i think we might get one today we might we might get one that'd be very nice and a great way to end our trip especially i'm really looking forward to fish that lake um anyways but yesterday, I also want to recap, but like, what happened? We caught that one and a half pound bass. That was awesome. I'm just going to flat out say it. that was a solid bass. I don't know if we'll get one bigger than that this trip. I think there's a possibility we might beat that, and I think we could catch a trout. Those are the two possible things I think that'll happen at this lake. Um, but we'll see you guys there. Peace out. Let's go. And we are in Halifax. So we are going to be trying to target some small creek bass, so smallmouth bass, or anything else we can really catch here. Um, we're going to be using the Joker from Strike King. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. This is the Joker from Strike King. It's two inches. 
They also call it Mr. Crappie or whatever. I'll put a link down in the description down below where you can buy these either on Amazon or wherever I can find them. Uh, and let's get into this video. Let's get it rigged up on our light spinning rod. It's gonna be 6'6 Predator Streamside Rod. The one I always use for spinning gear pretty much for any fresh water fishing I've been doing lately. So see you guys there. We're gonna get into it. Got one. First bass on that. First bass on the Joker, guys. Woo! There we go. We've been feeding that one. What? <laughs> We've been feeding that one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good old little Nova Scotia smallmouth, guys. First of the day on that two inch Joker maybe second cast beautiful little fish let's see him live let him grow guys there he goes guys right off the sides there we're gonna whip this out again the joker has already had some success now so guys i'm fishing this on a light spinning rod 6.6 six, uh predator elite i think or just predator i don't know what it's called exactly and just a light spinning reel with 10 pound braid and of course my mono leader eight pounds on that um yeah we're just whipping a light setup today and we're gonna try to get some more bites here they don't get too big around here guys but whipping this micro setup is a lot of fun uh just whip Whipping it wherever you can, really. Let's give it a good old whip out there. Ah, there we go. Oh, I had a bite. Got one. Another Nova Scotia smallmouth, guys. Beautiful. There we go. Another Nova Scotia little smallmouth. Let's let him go. See ya, buddy. Beautiful little fish, guys. Beautiful. Let's cast it out there. We're gonna we're gonna hit this spot a couple times, and then we're gonna move on. Let's whip it out there again. See if we can get one more Nova Scotia smallmouth out of this pool. And then we'll move on. Had some poles there. Got one. Woo! Oh, jeez, buddy, calm down, calm down. You're doing like kung fu and shit. There we go, back in the water. Swim off. I couldn't, I couldn't hold him. I was trying to grab him. He kept hitting my hand away. I was like, what the heck?
The water's low here today. Oh, fish in there. Got one. Ah, oh, I missed it. Got one. No, he came off again. So many little small ones in there. Got one. There we go, guys. Little Nova Scotia green bass. We're going to put them back in. This joker works good, guys, in these pools here. Working fantastic, actually. All the bass seem to be loving it like crazy. We're going to re-rig this on the other side, so... And get some more durability out of it again. There we go, guys. We rigged it right. Same plastic. Got one. Oh, there we go. Another little green bass for you guys. Little Nova Scotia Smalley. There we go guys, another Nova Scotia Smalley. We're gonna let him live. Got one. Oof. There we go, buddy. Smoked that little joker guys that strike king is really putting the work on it today there we go guys let him live Got one. There we go. There we go. Another little Nova Scotia smallmouth, guys. Let them live again. They're all underneath that rock there. Got one. There we go. Another little Nova Scotia smallmouth right there. There we go, another Nova Scotia smallmouth. Let them live, baby. Gotta let these dudes get bigger. Got one. There we go, guys. Another Nova Scotia smallmouth. There we go. Another Nova Scotia smallmouth. Gonna live today, guys. These things are just so beautiful, guys. I love smallmouth bass so much.
Got one. Oh, shoot. Got one. There we go, guys. Another Nova Scotia smallmouth back in those little creeks. get back. Guys, we're going to throw on the snap bean. This is by Yozuri, guys. So this is a snapping by Yozuri. It's a silver. And it's just a small little square bill crankbait. Haven't thrown this before, ever. But I'm feeling pretty confident with these small creek bass that... So we don't have the joke around anymore, guys. Got one. Ah, oh, he flew me off. There we go. Good little smolly. We're back here. We're at the. Here we go. There he goes. Got one. Good one. That's a good one right there, guys. Good little creek bass. There we go, guys. Probably one of the better ones of the day for creek bass. We're going to let him go, guys. See you next time. Bye. See you, buddy.
caught on that two inch joker. I think the joker is doing a lot better than the snap beans personally. So I'm gonna stick with this um, micro bass lure for now. Since those little smallmouth love the joker guys. We're gonna have to get some more of these. Got one. There we go. There we go. Little micro bass. Put them back in. Another one. Good one, guys. Oh, never mind. There we go. Another little creek bass on the joker. Oh, shoot. Oh, there he goes. Got one. No. Got one. There we go. Little bass. There we go. Little creek bass. Live another day, buddy. That one. There we go, guys. Another little creek bass. Oh, shoot. Buddy. You made your baby back in there. Good job. Self releasing. That's the best. Got one. There we go, little creek bass. He's fighting. Oh, there we go. He's a bit bigger. Here we go, guys. One of the bigger ones of the day. Still small, but it's a little creek bass, and that's what we like here. Fun, fun fishing. I'm going to put him back for another day. Caught on that joker again, guys. This joker is doing good. We're fishing the shoreline now.
Little creek smallmouth guys. Here we go guys, good little creek smallmouth. Let's let them go. <laughs> Got one. Nice little smallie. Good little creek smallmouth. We're gonna throw them back. Have another day, buddy. This is deep. This is our next stop, guys. Right here. Oh, man. Bass hammered that for a second there. Throw it back in that corner. Got one. There we go. I told you guys this this Joker thing is the move. There we go, guys. Little Nova Scotia smallmouth. See you another time. Grow, buddy. So I can catch you when you're bigger. Got one. There we go, guys. Another little Nova Scotia smallmouth. This one's even really small, but he can still grow into a giant in the future, maybe. No giants in here so far. I've never caught a giant out of this place ever, so I've tried, but there's just, I don't think there is any. Got one.
good one. There we go. That's a better one. There you go, guys. Joker caught this nice little bass. I know to you guys it probably seems like a little dink, but he's about eight inches, 10, eight to 10 inches, I don't know exactly, but he's a good little one. So we're gonna put him back to the lid. There we go. That one. He ate that right by the bank. Here we go. Little Nova Scotia smallmouth. And there he goes. That one. There we go. Another little smallmouth. There we go. Little Nova Scotia smallmouth again. We're just hammering them with this. Little setup here. That one. Next cast, another one. There we go. There we go. No scotch smallmouth again. They sure do love this. The Joker. Well guys, we're coming to an end on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the smallmouth journey in Nova Scotia today. It was amazing. If you haven't already, check out the fly fishing content in Marguerite. We just did. This is right after that trip. We decided to stop in Halifax for a night. And I'm, I'm, I did some fishing and we did pretty good on the uh, Joker from Strike King. It's meant for crappie, but you can use it for bass, perch, all those little tiny fish. like. You can even use it for big smallmouth. Honestly, I bet a big smallmouth would eat that as well. Um, it worked really well. We also caught some on the little uh, snap beans, it's what it's called, from Yozuri. And we tried the XTS from Bass Pro. Um, little craw crankbait, didn't catch anything on that. Had one bite, uh, and that didn't do too well. But today we did pretty good on the joker i'd say if you want to go check out that bait i'll put a link down in there for amazon that will send you to there and as well all my camera gear and everything so if that's it for the video guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that subscribe button comment if you want that comment of the day and see you guys next time peace out fish bump bye